Hey, what's up guys? This is Asnan and I'm watching Training Code. So in today's video, we are going to take a look on how to use basic layouts, how to create basic layouts, how to use widgets to create and flutter UI, okay? So uh, in this video, I'll just show you how to use container, how to use um, row. As you can see on the next screen, uh, we are going to implement all this stuff directly into our app, okay? So uh, the basic layouts in Flutter is created using container, creating using uh, row, created using columns and um, images, icons, text, and many more, okay? But we are going to first learn this thing, okay? How to use container, uh, what is the advantage of using container, how to use row, when to use row, how to use column, when to use column, and uh, how to use text, how to style the text, okay, and how to use icon, how to increase the size of icon, how to give colors to the icon, okay. So uh, first we'll learn this stuff, okay, and after learning this we are going to create the basic UI into the app, okay, uh, something like this on the screen okay so um, in this app we're having an app bar where which is having a text of my first app and inside that we're having a card inside the card we're having an image uh, which is basically uh, the source is from internet okay and uh, how to use that things how to use that icon icon is having some padding from all the sides like is having a padding from all the side uh, and the text is in um, uh, black color and what is the size of the text okay and uh, the comment icon uh, having some padding from both the side and all those stuff so um, we will learn all these things and this app is being created using the stuff which we have seen in the previous slide and the UI or the layouts which we have seen in the in the previous slide is used in this particular app okay so um, how to use an app bar and how to create an app bar so uh, before creating this particular application or creating this kind of UI, you should learn the basic things of uh, Flutter, okay? Of um, inside the Flutter, like how the flows comes from and how the apps start running, okay? So if we go to the next slide, we are going to have something on the screen like which is which is said as a material app and a scaffold, okay? So. Um, Inside the material app or if you want to create an Android app, if you want to use an Android app, okay, uh, inside the Flutter or if you want to use the widgets that are given by the given design, designed as a material, uh, material type design by the Android, okay, inside the Android app, then you should use material app, okay. Now, the material app is a class which allows us to use the design, pre-designed stuff okay pre-designed uh, material type widgets and text okay so um, if you want to use those widgets you cannot directly use that first you need a material app class inside the material app class you're going to use a scaffold okay now inside the scaffold you can directly start using all the widgets which are being uh, given by the flutter okay so um, the all the widgets which have which we have seen in the previous slides we can use them inside this calf hold okay now those widgets can be used outside of this calf hold outside of the material app but they are not going to get a design of material type they are going to get some different design and it's going to look so bad and awkward okay so uh, i'll just show you what if you use those widgets outside of the material app and outside of this calf hold classes okay and what kind UI what kind of UI you're going to get okay so um, I'll just tell you how the way or how the flow of material app goes okay so if you just go ahead and take a look on this particular piece of code you're going to get something like void main and void main is calling the run app method and inside the run app method we are passing the new instance of my app class okay now this is the my app class which is written by myself and you can just create the class whatever you want what kind of name you can give it's up to you 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 are free to give any name to the classes okay and uh, before we start or before we continue uh, I should recommend you to uh, clear your concept of object oriented programming because the flutter or the dot is using object oriented features okay and you're going to create the UIs using an object oriented features okay so um, 
you can see over here we have an avoid main method and it is calling a run app method and that method is accepting something like a new my app instance okay so this is kind of you're going to call you're, you're calling a class which is having a widgets inside that okay so if you want to display the widgets on the screen you should you should need a void main uh, void main method okay so in the next uh, next piece of code we are having a class called my app which is right over here and uh, inside that uh, inside the new app we are having a new classes that is going to be extend a stateless widget okay now in the stateless widget uh, the stateless widget and stateful widgets we have a two difference now in this tutorial or in this series we're going to use a stateless widget first and maybe in future i'll just tell you what are the stateful widgets okay so uh, the stateless widgets are, are kind of widgets that are not going to be maintained that states throughout the lifetime of the app okay but the stateful widgets are kind of widgets are going to maintain the state throughout their uh, life throughout the lifetime of the app for example if you're creating some animations they should maintain their state okay and uh, for example, when you just run your first step into the flutter, you're going to get an UI where you click on that floating button and the counter is going to be incremented. Now, in those particular things, you should maintain your state. For example, if you reload your app, that particular uh, widget is not going to, it's not going to lose or lose the previous value, okay? So uh, it's like, even if you reload, they are going to maintain their state, yet they are going to retain their previous values, okay? So uh, the very first thing you should learn is the void main and void main is having a run app and that run app is going to call a different methods, okay? Or different class, not a method, a different class, okay? We are passing a new instance of different classes. Now, inside the piece of code, we have passed a my app instance and the my app instance is having an overridden method that is a widget build now this is the important method you should write this method every time when you create a new class because this is the method which is going to display our widgets on the app or on the screen because it's a build method and it is going to initiate the uh, build objects and it is going to return the stuff which we have written inside that particular method now as i told you we need a material app and inside that material app we need to use a scaffold okay so inside this particular my app uh, my app class we have used the material app and uh, the material app is having a home now what is the home home is kind of a root page when we run our app this is the first page which is going to be displayed when you run your app okay so uh, home is kind of the root page what that's what we can say now so the home page is having a new instance of my card now on this on the next piece of code which is having a class my card right over here um, the the class my card extends the stateless widget now again we are using a stateless widget in this class so we need to extend that okay and as i told you when you create a class you should override the build method every time so we have overridden the build method and inside the build method we are returning a scaffold so the material app is calling a uh, my card class an uh, instance of my card and my card is having a scaffold so we are using a material app first and inside the material app we are using a scaffold okay so we cannot directly use the objects or the uh, widgets outside of the scaffold if we need an android uh, if we need a uh, material design widgets we should use all these things into the scaffold okay so um, we are writing a scaffold and inside the scaffold we are creating an app bar and we are writing a title with a new text of my first app and we are changing the background color so in this video uh, uh, i just just brief the way how the flow goes on and what are the way to create the app okay now um, in the next video uh, what we will do is we are gonna create the app from this sketch okay and I'll just tell you how to write the classes and what should be included and what should not be included and we are going to directly learn container columns row images text and icons and after learning all those stuff we are going to create a basic UI which I have just shown you inside this slide okay so I'll see you in my next one bye bye